Hey, Explorers! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of extinction and rediscovery. The first animal is the Majorcan Midwife Toad. The Majorcan Midwife Toad is a frog species exclusively found in the Majorca Island close to Spain. Believed to be extinct after fossils were first described in 1977, but in 1979 a living animal was found. They live in mountainous regions near streams and other water bodies. One of the most fascinating things about the giant red toad from Majorca, firstly, is its unusual reproducing approach. The male and female swim into the water where she lays the eggs. The male, in turn, fertilizes them outside. The male will next fasten these fertilized eggs symmetrically on its hind legs using the adhesive pads and hold them until they turn into tadpoles. The next animal is the Chacoan peccary. The Chacoan peccary or tagua is a peccary species confined to the wild of Bolivia and Argentina. In 1930, this species was first recorded scientifically by Oldfield Thomas. At that time, scientists have assumed that this species was extinct. However, a small population of these peccaries were then discovered in the late 1970s. They are endangered, being that just around 3,000 of them remain in the wild. They are found in the dry, thorny forests and shrublands of the Gran Chaco area. The wild pigs from Chacoan prefer to be active during the day, and they form small groups known as sounders, consisting of a small number of individuals. They are herbivores, meaning thicket profuse in fruits, roots, and vegetables. The next animal is the Laotian rock rat. The Laotian rock rat, a rodent species which is only found in Laos and Vietnam identified in 1996 in the Camoan region of Laos it was given the name living fossil or Laos rock rat as it is being so special on the evolutionary path. It was originally believed to have become extinct 11 million years ago before its rediscovery. It is believed to be omnivorous, usually prey upon a wide range of wild plants and fruits around. Work is underway to study and safeguard this unique species. The knowledge about the life of Laotian rock rat in the wild is so far not known because of its unknown activity. The next animal is the terror skink. The terror skink is a species of skink indigenous to Australia. The earliest record of this species was in 1876, whereas in 2003, the conservationists from the Natural History Museum in France had the opportunity to see live specimens. Commonly known as the giant skink due to its size almost twice as large as other skinks, the terror skink more specifically inhabits the moist tropical and subtropical regions of northern Australia. These reptiles are known to go about during the day, especially in the early morning and evening hours, but tend to hide in shelter during the hottest hours of the day. They are also omnivorous with a dietary range that covers almost every form of small-sized insects and invertebrates, fruits, and vegetables. The next animal is the tequila fish. The tequila is a small and endemic species living only in the areas of western Mexico. Sadly, this fish disappeared from the Lago de Ameca Basin in the 1990s. Lucky scientists had a certain amount in captivity in their labs and have slowly carried out the reintroduction of this species to its natural home here. Crustatus tequila's fish is usually skinny, and its split round tail fin closely resembles the open fins group of fish. Their color may vary, but in general they are silverish olive green colored. They are also live bearers, which means that they give birth to live young instead of laying eggs. The habitat that they inhabit has been slowly destroyed and polluted which brought these fish to a point of extinction. The next animal is the coelacanth. The coelacanth proves to be a rare and primitive fish. Coelacanths are bottom dwellers, living far below the sea in caves, rocky ledges, and the like. Their depth of habitat spans from 100 to 500 meters. Although the coelacanth were thought to be extinct, one day, in 1938, the fish reappeared. Early in 1938, the discovery of the first known species of the genus occurred in South Africa by Marjorie Courtney Latimer. This finding was a major one as it not only shook the scientific community that coelacanth were known only from fossils, some of them dating back to the time of dinosaurs. Their anatomic and physiological features are really valuable, thus, they have brought us more insight into the general evolution of vertebrates. The next animal is the Monito del Monte. The Monito del Monte, it is one of the smallest marsupials found in Chile and Argentina. They are the only living species in the family Microbiothoriidae, and they are the last living remnants of a very ancient lineage which dates at least to the Cretaceous. These animals live primarily in the dense, moist forests of southern Chile. 
The Monitos del Monte are excellent climbers using their tails with a prehensile ability to go through the thick forest. Monitos del Monte are an aspect of cultural heritage of a few indigenous communities in Chile as well as Argentina. Such creatures are commonly referred to as mutant monkeys because of the way they look and the manner of living, though they are not monkeys at all the next animal is the Fitzroy River Turtle. The Fitzroy River Turtle is a species of turtle native to northern Australia which is especially found in the freshwater of the Fitzroy River system in southwestern Australia. The Fitzroy River was thought to be from the extinct form, Reodites divisi, but it was actually was the only surviving member of the genus Reodites. The Fitzroy River turtle is found in freshwater habitats, specifically in the relatively persistent rivers, billabongs, and lagoons. The next animal is the mountain pygmy possum. The mountain pygmy possum is the one of the world's tiniest marsupials and is the native of the southeastern quarter of Australia. It was believed that this species had become extinct until a living specimen was found in 1966. The possum was discovered by a scientist in 1894 when a fossil was found. The second finding occurred years later in 1895, when another part of the skull and a set of jaw bones were found in the Wambian Caves. The mountain pygmy possums present unique adaptations to survive and grow in the high-altitude ecosystems above 1,400 meters of elevation, which comprises rocky areas bearing scree slopes and boulder fields. Mountain pygmy possums have the habit of being omnivorous, which helps them in getting their diet energy. The last animal is the hill's horseshoe bat. The hill's horseshoe bat is a bat species that inhabits Southeast Asia. It was believed to be extinct for 40 years until it was rediscovered again during Rwanda's Nyungwe National Park Survey in 2022. This family is distinctive in the shape of the nose leaf that they carry, which is used for echolocation. They are found in forested areas and caves are the areas where they roost, but they can nevertheless be seen in other buildings which are abandoned. Just like other bats with horseshoes, Hill's horseshoe bat feeds on moths, beetles, and other insects which fly. Like many bat species, it is confronted by habitat loss, unforeseen inspections of the roosting places, and other human undertakings. And that wraps up today's exploration into the resurgence of lost species. From the depths of history to the forefront of conservation efforts, these rediscoveries remind us of the resilience of life on our planet. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.